Hi, hello, how are you? How are you people doing? I hope you are doing well. If you are new here, then hi, hello, how are you? My name is Bonishika. Now that you know it, we are a family. Uh, please subscribe. <laughs> I'm actually after a long period of time going to a party. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do my makeup and also I, you know, I have social anxiety. So whenever, uh, whenever this happens that I'm going to somewhere, it as much as I want to be social, but at the same time, it fucks the shit out of me and I feel very anxious. So I thought, let's just do my makeup with you people and it will be fun. What's it? Mm -mm. So yeah, at first I'm doing my priming, face priming with this. This is VLCC uh, Ayurveda and it's a very good aloe vera. So that's what I'm applying. Also, I'll be writing down all the products down below. And I have been out of practice of this YouTube thing. I mean, at the last video I did with my college senior, Olidi. And after that, I couldn't film anything. And why? Because mm, at first, my camera is fucked. I mean, it's still fucked. It's not taking focus. And even though it's on autofocus, because obviously I am shooting it on my own. And, and, and. But at the same time, it's it's doing it's behaving very weirdly, and I have to take it to the hospital, the camera hospital. It costs money. I am broke. We all know that. <laughs> so, uh, that was first problem, and the second problem was suddenly I was shooting. I was shooting this very video two weeks before, and the very day I was shooting, my battery charger went down. I yesterday night I had this massive breakdown. I was God knows what I was thinking of doing, and I thought that i should talk to you people because you people are my family when i say that you people are my family i mean it i really mean it are you people buying you know christmas gifts for yourselves what are you buying please please write them in the comment section because i have this weird habit which i'm going to talk about especially why and this is going to be a very uh, heart to heart talk and very personal talk because i know many of you are like okay Bonnie, uh why do you share your traumas out in public why do you wash your dirty laundry in public why do you talk about your mental health i talk about my stuff so that someone out there doesn't feel like they're alone talk about my dirty laundry so that people can know that laundries do get dirty so i'm going to use this primer on my face my problem is i am a serial apologizer seriously and i have this weird guilty feeling all the time i know all of us i mean none of us are like the best person in this world all of us have some i mean some skeleton in their closets and we are not riding any high horses but usually what we do is we we do something bad we say something awful to our close friends and people and sometimes they get hurt and somebody else gets hurt and we just apologize to them maybe they can forgive us they cannot forgive us it's up to them and we move on right what happens in my case i keep on saying sorry when i do bad but i also apologize all the time when i clearly know that's not my mistake i have done nothing wrong and when i kept on saying sorry to people people had many different type of reactions with that sometimes people thought i'm very attention seeking i'm always in guilty mode i'm always feeling this guilt over my shoulder as if it's a hobby of mine i like feeling like uh, you know everything is on my shoulder oh what a marvelous feeling to feel right 
No, it doesn't feel good when you feel guilty all the time for things that you haven't even done. And some people think I'm just kind and polite. I no, it's again I'm not riding any high horse here. I'm really not high riding any high horse here. I'm not extra polite or I'm not attention grabbing person. And I know there are people out there who do the same. It actually took me. a lot actually took me a lot of time to realize that why i do this this is not normal this is not normal for apologizing for anything and everything or feeling guilty all the time for stuff you have done like 5 years ago i know this can be a problem because the cancel culture is not very helpful i mean i have seen people are doing this bringing stuff from 7 years ago 5 years ago and calling them out i'm not saying calling out is a bad thing if somebody is still doing that shit then you call them out and it's like okay they were this shit person 5 years ago they are this shit person now but if that person have changed any time somebody brings something from their past to you know shame them it kind of bothers me i know even i know many people are going to think that i'm enabling people and stuff it took me lot it took me a while to realize why i do this why i keep on apologizing and obviously i when i started going to therapy it was also helpful i talk to people in where people talk to other people about their traumas only then i realized that this is actually very common more common than i could think of but it happens So yeah after after reading books after going to therapy and after talking to many people I realized that this feeling guilty all the time this feeling and me apologizing to anyone and everyone for mostly no reason I mean this had happened that somebody cheated on me and I apologized to that shit hole that it's probably my fault that you have cheated on me What? What? I mean, yeah, now that I look back, I think like why? I mean, that's an asshole. That's a certified asshole right there. Why did I apologize? But I did. I did. This is because actually I am very scared of upsetting anyone. True. And I am very scared of taking up space. For that, one thing is to blame is my horrific childhood. I am traumatized since I was a baby. I was in diaper. I mean, before I was born, it started from before I was born. Nobody wanted me in my family because I was a daughter and it kept on happening. So I was afraid of taking up space. A child should normally a children have needs. I wasn't allowed to have needs. <sighs> I had I needed someone I never even nobody and also growing up nobody told me that uh this is abnormal you should not apologize to anything and everything but when it comes to especially south asian women woman is apologizing all the time that means that woman is humble kind nobody sees that the woman is actually traumatized this is a trauma response this happens when from a very early age you are told that you are not allowed to take up space your needs doesn't matter your voice doesn't matter your existence doesn't matter and you can't have as a woman you can't have valuable in in anyone's life not in your own life so you keep on walking on eggshells that's what it caused me to feel this guilty all the time if this is scenario with you please do reconsider going back to you know down memory lane and think about your own childhood i mean i'm not saying that yeah go ahead and do that if it's too traumatic for you sometimes this is also another trauma response that we have 
have sometimes if we had two traumatic experiences we don't like to recall it anymore so yeah one of the factor that so whatever happened to you as a child it created a deep trauma inside you and that trauma gave birth to low self-esteem that's what happened and this constant apologizing it's it's not attention seeking plus also um attention seeking is not a bad thing if you think about it we are programmed to seek attention since we are babies when we needed food or anything we cried the fuck out of life so that we could get attention of our mothers yeah we did that all of us did that so we are programmed to ask for attention so next time somebody says oh you are an attention seeker tell them tell them to shut the fuck up now the question is why we apologize right why all the time we apologize most of the time we do this because our childhood trauma we are afraid of rejection we are really oh oh, this shadow is patchy we are really afraid of conflicts really 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 we are afraid of awkward situations sometimes that's why sometimes we apologize so that so that you know get away from conflicts it's one type of defense mechanism of ours and with that i want to say everyone out there listening to this you do not need to apologize for taking up space if you don't like some shit say it out loud that no i don't like it if you don't find some situation beneficiary for you you go ahead loud and proud say hey i don't like it or yeah i like it i want it more it's your call you get to say about your life it's completely okay it's completely normal for you know taking space you are normal if you have some basic fucking needs and it's completely normal for making mistakes everybody does nobody is riding any high horse here i know it's easy to call some people enabler or a loser or you are a shit person etc etc i really know but it's okay to make mistakes all of us do and just knowingly don't hurt people but at the same time we have all done something that one way or another will hurt someone we are always going to be a villain in someone's story so don't worry about it much don't just live your life all i want to say that just consciously don't hurt someone you always come first when it comes to priority you are your first priority (sighs) where do i start so you just don't need to apologize for existing you know you are allowed to make mistakes you don't have to apologize ten thousand times a day just for existing you are allowed to make mistakes you are allowed to feel needy you are allowed to show emotions and vulnerabilities it's not attention seeking it's not being rude it's okay to take space the weather is so bad that i'm drying like fuck that i'm 10000 time wearing this lip balm and i have moisturized my face once again this is very very dry season and this actually this lip balm is amazing it's called kaya dharma naturals it's amazing so i never used to uh, you know uh, color correct my skin at all most of the time but nowadays i am doing that but i was saying that you are not uh, obliged to apologize for just being yourself or acting like basic human being i know this might sound very corny but try to use self affirmation how you talk to yourself matters a lot i mean i'm not saying i'm a very strong person i'm a very weak person and because i have been weak i know how it feels to be weak and we know we are not 100% all the time some days we are 20% some days we are 120% it's okay it's completely okay to be like that so you have to 
talk good stuff to yourself like i'm healthy i'm good i'm working hard i'm talented i am going to make mistakes making mistakes are okay and i'm going to be all right talk positively to yourself whenever you feel like down and you are going down and everything is fucking crash 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 boom especially on those moments please please talk to yourself talk to yourself as if you are talking to your best friend in distress and i know that you have developed a habit of saying sorry all the time and it's not going to go what can i say it's a habit that grew since you were a kid it's not going to go away so instead of saying sorry you can do thank you who would have thought right thank you works a lot so whenever you feel like saying sorry or apologizing for a situation or feeling guilty please start saying thank you don't say sorry that i made you feel this way or sorry for being a nuisance in your life rather say thank you for understanding i have a problem and thank you for understanding don't say sorry on like on every occasion thank you works better instead of apologizing all the time instead of saying sorry please say i mean when you want to say like i'm so sorry you don't have to do that oh no 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 it's okay you don't have to do that for me don't do this if somebody is doing something good for you just say thank you thank you for making me feel that i'm welcomed in this place how we talk what we say our words in sanskrit there is a saying which is said shabda brahma that means words have immense power words have immense power so always choose your words very wisely and when you want to when somebody is listening to you when you are it's okay when you are feeling bad it's okay to reach out and when somebody is willingly listening to you don't go ahead and say oh my god so you don't have to do this for me no don't do this rather say i'm thankful that you lend your ears to me i'm thankful that you are listening to me don't say sorry don't feel sorry for yourself please don't feel sorry for yourself when somebody is offering you their ears say i'm thankful that you are listening to me it's okay to feel emotional it's okay to cry in front of people it's okay to so called make scene it's okay so when you are feeling emotional when you are talking to someone and you are feeling emotional and this is not some gyan i am giving to you this is not some advice that i am giving to you this is something i am making a video so that there's a record and i can see it for myself as well i can see it for myself as well that i do this too i self sabotage myself a lot so when you are feeling emotional in front of someone and someone is offering you here instead of saying i'm sorry i don't want to be emotional oh my god rather say i'm thankful that you're listening to me it really feels nice to be heard again words have powers and you have to utilize it be kind to yourself be gentle to yourself it's okay to sleep off time after time be gentle with yourself for sleeping more beneficial to be kind to yourself rather than beating yourself up in every uh, situation and just simply punishing yourself there's no use if you can try to talk to people in your life about this situation you should be able to do that to if there is someone in your life with whom you can talk to it can be beneficial too if it is possible if it is possible then you can try to create a comfort zone you can try to create a friend zone where you can really talk to your friends about this situation about this trauma and the habit of feeling guilty that you have developed 
you can always talk about this if there's a friend who is very understanding then you can always say hey you know um i struggle with apologizing all the time i have this habit of you know feeling guilty or apologizing all the time but i'm trying to change i'm trying to change my habits so can you just whenever i do this can you just simply you know tell me that hey you are now doing this once again and you are apologizing for stuff or you are feeling about hey you are feeling about guilty about this you should not because it's not your fault we should always have such friends around us who will tell us that it's okay to sleep up time after time i don't know this 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 one this blush is from this is for lakme this is one of the one of my most favorite blush whatsoever also there will be people like don't apologize don't don't dance. don't don't dance. <laughs> as if uh, they will give advice as if everything is very easy i have a solution for that too so if there is someone who behaves like this mental health problem this anxiety or this self sabotaging habit of yours will just go away like this poof and it's gone if somebody around you behaves like that then calmly don't don't lose your mind very calmly in a very calm cool way tell them that yeah i do struggle with feeling guilty i struggle with apologizing all the time but i'm trying to change i don't think this is a weakness of mine i'm trying to change my habit i know it can be very hard on me and people around me sometimes to understand me what i'm going through i am trying to not to apologize but it won't happen overnight there's a learning curve i'm learning trust me it works it really works so the lipstick i'm using this is one of my favorite colors oh my god okay. yeah even though the light situation is not good ooh, ooh. and if there's someone who's not mocking you or kind to you about they know that you have this habit of self sabotaging just tell them that can you give me a gentle reminder or just a quote when i start to apologize unnecessarily can you please remind me that okay bunny don't do this don't apologize you have done nothing wrong and if you are not that type of person but you know someone you have a friend who's like this tell them that it's okay it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to slip up sometimes uh you don't need to apologize for everything and anything so yeah my makeup is done i hope that you i hope that we could connect i hope that you like my uh was i looking good while tying my hair or should i keep like this i don't know what is the scene of my focus because i just hope today goes good after that i'm going to take my camera to the hospital but if you like this chit chat this heart to heart talk end of the day all i want to say that one thing that saves the day one thing that will save the day and one thing that will keep this world going is kindness please be kind to other people please be kind to yourself fam end of the day the only person loves you the most is you i think i'm liking this look ooh so if you like this chit chat if you like this look please like share comment subscribe or just like just subscribe you can dislike but i can't see it anymore you tube has taken away he he the dislike button so you can hit the dislike button as much as you want i won't be seeing it or in that case anybody would be seeing it so there's no use being petty and i'm just glad that you were watching this video i'm just glad that we had this heart to heart conversation which was needed till then we'll see you in the next video which is 
here, 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 somewhere. Uh, you can see more videos of me if you go to my channel. I have many videos that nobody watches. And uh, also, I'm very thankful that currently I just got 350 subscribers. Yay! I want to say thank you to each of you. Until then, bye-bye.